Alright, so this is going to be a tutorial on how to mod the Maelong 7x7. Uh, this is pretty much the best 7x7 right now. Uh, a lot of people find it better than the Alfu, but you need to do some work to make it good. Uh, the mods we're going to be doing are Florian modding, uh, adding core magnets, uh, Dorito mod, which is just weight reduction in the inner layers, and also adding some washers to the center pieces to prevent damage to the core. Uh, also, before getting started, I just want to mention that I sell these, so if you want to buy one, I'll have some methods to contact me in the description. And also, if you're going to be at NAC and you're watching this video early, uh, I'll have some with me if you want to get one there. So to start, we're just going to take the cube apart. Fortunately, there's no real way to get around taking it apart, because we need to do a lot of stuff to the centers and the core. So, just unscrew one side for now. Uh, you could probably tape together the center pieces if you want, but... It won't help that much. It's not that hard to reassemble it, I find. Okay. Alright, so now we're just trying to separate the pieces. Uh, the only pieces we need are like the outer ring of pieces, so pretty much just the midges, uh, inner wings, outer wings, and corners. Um, you can also put the core aside. Alright, so now I sorted them into each type of piece. So there's uh, corners, uh, midges, outer wings, and inner wings. So uh, the corners and outer wings are going to be sanded for Florian modding, edges are going to be sanded for uh, core magnets, and these are going to be uh, Dorito modded. So this is what I'm going to start with. It's pretty much the easiest. You just want some flush cutters. Um, you can also use nail clippers. I know a lot of people use those. Uh, basically, you're just going to want to separate the edge piece. And then you want to find the, there's two halves. You want the one that doesn't have the magnets. And you want to go to the side closer to the inner layer. So, like, we're going to want to do it on the left side. And literally just cut out the little triangle. Um, unfortunately, the plastic gets a little damaged, but it doesn't matter. It's pretty much just the appearance because it's still there's still a lot of support holding it together and yeah you just want to do that for all 24 pieces okay so all these pieces have been uh, weight reduced now um doesn't take too long it took maybe like 15 minutes uh, i definitely recommend this one if you're going to do other stuff because it uh, speeds up the inner layer so much and it doesn't take that long especially compared to like florian matting um you're going to have the cube disassembled anyway one thing to note though is a lot of people ask if you could do it in other pieces to make the layers faster. I wouldn't recommend it because it'll end up making the outer layers way faster and the inner layers are still going to be slow. If you really want to, you could try it. I just say make sure to only do one side so you could do like this side of this piece. You don't want to do this side because then the layers might catch if there's a hole here and here. Um, but you could try it if you want. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, just doing these pieces helps a lot. So, yeah, that's it for Dorito modding. So now for Florian modding, we're going to uh, mod the outer wings and the corners. So I'll show how to do one of each piece. I like using a nail file for this just because it's the most convenient. So to start with the wings, these are definitely the easier piece. We want to sand, obviously, uh, like here, so that when the wings go over each other, uh, there's not going to be as much catching. But also sanding this sharp edge right here helps. So that's what I do first. So yeah, just like that, it's sanded now. And you can see that it's not as sharp anymore. I could do a little more. So yeah, that's it for this part. Now you're gonna round over these. So the easiest way I find to do is start by just removing the plastic by sanding it. So like that much looks good. I'm gonna do it on the other side too. Also these nail files have a rough and a fine side. I'm using the rough side right now because my goal is just to remove the plastic. Uh, so yeah, that looks good. So now I'm actually gonna try making it round and like circular. So instead of just doing it like at 45 degrees, I'll angle it a little. I'm also using the finer side now. Um, so yeah, that looks pretty good. The final thing I'm going to do is just round over the uh, sharp edge, like here. So... 
Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna clean it up a little, but really what matters is that you sand it so that it's round and the pieces won't catch. Uh, however long you want to spend making it look good is up to you, but uh, this looks pretty good. I'm gonna do it for this side now. And yeah, so this piece should be done now. A lot of people ask how much they should sand. Um, you could kind of just use this as a reference. Also, if you have like a Alshi or a Alfu or other big cubes that are rounded, you could try to use those as a reference. It doesn't matter that much though, as long as it's like close to this, it's going to feel pretty much the same. Also, uh, make sure to use like finer sandpaper, like the fine side to smooth it out. Cause I think it takes some time for the pieces to break in. Cause when the plastic's rough, the corner cutting's still not that much better. Um, but this is also just stuff that'll happen with break-in, so don't worry too much about it. Okay, so for corner pieces now, obviously we're going to want to sand uh, these three sharp corners here. Then we're also going to want to sand the base over here, so to start with that, I have a metal file. You could also use just sandpaper or nail file like this, but um, I like using this one because of the triangular angle. So basically, uh, just do the same thing. With these, I don't worry as much about making it look good since you're not going to see it. All I care about is that it's going to be rounded, and I'll try to make it more circular, but overall, uh, since no one's going to see it, as long as it functions, it's good enough. So yeah, that first round over looks good. Also, when uh, you sand these parts, a little bit of melted plastic might get kicked up, so I just like to scratch it off just to make sure that the plastic gets removed. And yeah, the first one looks good, so I'm gonna do it to the other two sides. Okay, so I finished the stock off camera. Uh, you could just see it's a bit rounded. Uh, especially with these, I wouldn't worry too much about how much you sand it, just do enough where it'll look pretty rounded. Also focus on sanding areas more that are farther away from the center, because if you think about when you're actually making turns, uh, when layers are misaligned, they're going to be more misaligned when they're farther away from the core, so I kind of do it at like a triangular angle. So basically just focus more on the top area. So now for the actual piece, this is pretty much the same as the other pieces. We're just going to want to round it over. Also, since we're not sanding the pieces that correspond with these, um, we're going to want to sand it a bit more just to make up for that. Since like with the wings, there's going to be two pieces that are rounded to make up for it. Uh, for the corners, I just like to sand them a bit more to make up for not having rounded centers. Alright, so this piece looks good now. Um, again, if you want to use it as a reference, you could just try to match it to mine. But again, I wouldn't worry too much about it, just try to make the pieces consistent. Um, you can see it next to a wing what it's going to look like. And now we just have to do it for all 8 corners and all 24 of the wings. Alright, so once you're done Florian modding, the final piece we need to mod is the midges. Uh, so basically, the core magnets are going to go here, but they actually interfere with the torpedo, so just have to sand it. So I like to just use the nail file. and. Just do that a couple of times. You could sand a lot because uh, torpedoes don't really matter in big cubes since there's so much holding the pieces in anyway. But yeah, something like that should be good. And then there's going to be some plastic uh, melted that I picked up, so just scratch it off. And yeah, so it looks good. So finally, once you're done with all the pieces, I'll put them in a mixing bowl to wash them. Uh, I'm not going to show it, but basically just uh, run it under water, put some soap in, just like try to get all the dust and lube off the pieces. Uh, you could technically do it for the centers as well, but you really just want to do it for these pieces that we sanded uh, just to get the dust off. So while the pieces are drying, it's a good time to start working on the core stuff. So first we'll do core magnets. These are just ones that I printed. Um, I'll leave a link in the description where you could get some, you could buy some, you could like make them yourself with a printer, so I'll put those options in the description, but here, uh, I'm literally just going to put them on. There's enough friction that I don't even need to glue them, so yeah, they just snap on. And yeah, so that's it for the core. Um, I'm going to put the centers back on now, and one thing I actually need to do is 
add these little plastic washers underneath the screw heads because the screws will actually carve into the plastic here and obviously if that happens too much it's going to loosen the cube and it'll be bad. Uh, so yeah, I'll leave some links to where you could download files for these in the description too. Uh, I would recommend just designing them yourself because um, they're really printer dependent. But anyway, I just put them on the screw like this. Um, screw it past the threads and then just push it down all the way. And yeah, so that looks good. So yeah, this is pretty much the same as any other cube now. Just put some lube over here. This is just weight 5, but anything, any silicone will work. Just make sure to get lube in between the washer and the spring, and in between the spring and the plastic. So that looks good. Just put it back in here. And then just screw it into the core. Uh, so for now I'm just going to screw all six of them in, and then we'll focus on getting even tensions. Alright, so once you get all the centers on, to get even tensions, all you have to do is just pull them apart and just like approximate the distance in between them and try to get them all to be the same. Uh, it's really important to do this now because especially with big cubes, you can't get even tensions easily when the cube's assembled. So it's best to just do it when it's apart like this. And yeah, I just like to leave maybe like a millimeter in between each center. You can adjust the tensions later, it's just important that they're even for now. Uh, so now, finally, we'll just add the corner magnets. So, uh, these are pretty easy to add. Basically, all you do is get some glue. I like to add it in three spots, like uh, here, here, and here, and the inside. So, one, two, three. You don't need that much. And then just get the magnet in and just hold it for a second. The glue dries pretty fast. Just make sure it's pushed down all the way. And yeah, that's it. Just have to do that for all eight now. All right, so once all that's done, the last step is just to assemble it. So the only real advice I have for assembly is to start with each corner section. So make sure that the midges and the corners are soft when you assemble them, so that way the cube will be solvable. And um, so I start by attaching the corner to the core magnet and then just like assembling it from there. Um, it's still pretty annoying to do, but this is the easiest way that I found. So I'll just show it for this section. See, so yeah, I assembled like one sort of like corner section. I mean, you kind of just have to hope that it stays together and start assembling the next ones. Sometimes pieces will fall, but as long as it stays mostly together, it's fine. Alright, so the corner section is now assembled. Um, I'm just going to do the rest of it off camera because once you get to this point, it's pretty easy. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the only advice I have for assembly. It's going to take a while, but there's not much you could do about it. Alright, so uh, once you assemble it, the modding should all be done. Uh, pretty much all that's left is like lubing and tensioning, which uh, since we got even tensions already, all you have to do is just uh, go to each side and unscrew it a certain amount. Uh, with the Moe screwdriver, it's nice because you could just look at the ridges and just do like six turns to make sure you're doing each side by the same amount. Um, but yeah, right after you're done, it should be pretty good, especially if you wipe out the loop from the outer layers. Uh, it will still be a little rigid, but you can see corner cutting is better. Um, it still needs some break-in to be good. I think like with break-in, the plastic will start to smooth out and also the springs might get a little looser, so it'll start feeling nicer after some salts, but already it's still a uh, big improvement from when it was stock. One more quick thing to point out is that if you add the washers, the center caps will kind of start popping up when you turn it a lot. Uh, that does go away eventually. I'm not really sure why it goes away and why it happens in the first place, but you will just need to like push the center down every solve or two, uh, just for a bit until the cube starts breaking in more. But yeah, that's pretty much it for all the modding. Um, I'll leave links in the description to where you can get stuff you need. Uh, if you want to buy one, I'll leave some contact info so that you could contact me. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.